If you're an Xbox owner and an AEW fan, this story is going to tickle your fancy. I'm Troy from Marks on Games, and today I'm bringing you some big news on AEW Fight Forever, courtesy of an article on ComicBook.com. The article is linked in the video description. Before we begin, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell to be notified whenever we post brand new videos. We bring you new content every single day of the week, whether it's about video games, TV, movies, and of course, pro wrestling. Now, on with the story. ComicBook.com reports AEW Fight Forever, big announcement regarding Xbox Game Pass. AEW Fight Forever, All Elite Wrestling's first console video game installment, still doesn't have a confirmed release date. However, WrestleZone's Matt Black reported on Monday via sources that the game will be available on day one of its release on Xbox Game Pass. Black explained that the deal will make the game immediately accessible to millions of potential players, including my co-host of the podcast, Greg, writing, by launching on Xbox Game Pass, AEW Fight Forever will be available to over 25 million subscribers on Microsoft's subscription service, end quote. He also pointed out that this will be the first licensed wrestling game to be available on Game Pass. The game was first announced back in November of 2020, with confirmation that it would be developed by Ukes, a previous developer on many WWE games over the past 20 years, and that WWF No Mercy director Hideyuji Geta Iwashita would be involved in the development. THQ Nordic signed on as the game's publisher, and it will be released on PlayStation 4 and 5, Nintendo Switch, Windows, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S. Pre-orders began in August, and a tentative release was set for late 2022, but there haven't been any updates on its status since its recent appearance at various gaming conventions. It took home the award for Best Sports Game at this year's Gamescom. That last part absolutely blows my freaking mind. The game hasn't even been released yet, the general public has played exactly zero minutes of the game, and yet it was given the Best Sports Game Award at a gaming convention? That's absolutely laughable. You can make the argument that judges at the convention got to play it and blah blah blah, but this is still for an unreleased game with no official launch date, and no one outside of that convention has ever touched it. Regardless, this game looks like it's not for me. I love wrestling games, and I love sports simulation games, but that looks more like a wrestling arcade game, and I am not interested in any of that. Admittedly, I don't think that it's a popular opinion. I've seen a groundswell, at least online, for this game. Our videos on this game generally do well. I'd be shocked if this one doesn't get at least one to 200 views just on YouTube within 24 hours, maybe more, which is pretty good for us. On TikTok, we'll hit over a thousand views before the end of the week, I'm sure. But arcade-style wrestling games are just not my thing. I played WWE All-Stars a couple of times, and it was fine. I had fun with it. I didn't care to get Battlegrounds or whatever it was called. And this, unless I hear great things after a few months about it, uh, I'm gonna pass. But to anyone on Game Pass, you might as well just get the damn game and give it a chance. What the hell, right? I mean, this might actually be a sleeper hit, and it being on Game Pass can only be a net positive for them, like what was stated in the article. Comment down below with what you think about the decision to launch on Game Pass, whether or not you're excited for AEW Fight Forever, and if you want to call me an idiot for my opinions, go for it. Thanks for watching. Share this video around to everyone you know, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the little bell to be notified every single time we post brand new content on video games games, movies, TV, and of course, pro wrestling. I've been Troy from Arcson Games, and we'll see you next time.